Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, it is late at night and I wanted to test out this charcoal mud mask that I have. So this is what we got to work with. <laughs> I've never ever used a charcoal mud mask before in my entire life. And this one, it's set, it's um, yes to tomatoes okay we're gonna go with it um detoxifying charcoal mud mask yes to so that's the brand is yes to charcoal and lbm little black mask that detoxifies and rid skin of nasty impurities it is 96 percent all natural and it is one single use mask um, so this is what the package looks like. I got this for Christmas in my stocking stuffer, so I've been dying to use it. I mean, not dying, but I've been really wanting to use it. So I took my makeup off, took my brows off, everything. So we're going to give this bad boy a try. It says it is for the treatment of acne, so I'm guessing if you do have acne, this is okay to use on your skin. And the only thing it says is to apply a generous amount to clean skin. So let's open it and see if it's a mask or if we put it on. It looks like it's not a mask, but it is just the mud in it. And like, it doesn't tell you, oh wait, let it work its detox magic for 5 to 10 minutes, feel free to lie down and close your eyes, rinse off with water to reveal your clean complexion, breakouts will be history in no time. This is what it looks like. So we're just gonna apply, apply this. It smells really good though. wash my hands and I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for about 10 minutes this mask it is a very tightening uh, mask as you can see I can barely move my lips and um, it tightens your whole face like you feel like you just had a bunch of Botox and you can't really talk I mean I don't know what that feels like because I've never had Botox but if this is what it feels like I think I'll pass. <laughs> like, you can't even smile. You can't even, like, wrinkle your forehead. Like, <laughs> you would be so screwed. This is how I would be, like, all the time. Why would people do this? So, you are supposed to wash it off with water. So, I'm gonna go do that. I feel if I use a wet washcloth, it would take forever in a day, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom and rinse it off, and I will be back in 3, 2, 1. We're back. So, um, 
my thoughts on this mask. Your skin does get really, really clean. It definitely feels like it's pulling everything out of your skin that you can. Um, afterwards, your skin is very tight. But um, always after a mask, what I personally like to do is I like to put a little bit of moisture back into my face. So I'm just going to put some moisturizer on. This is the Neutrogena Daily Moisturizer. And I just want to put a little bit of moisture back into my skin. If you are looking for a charcoal mask, definitely check this one out. I mean... The packaging is a little bit less to be desired. Um, it is difficult to put on like when it's in a pouch. Other than that, it's definitely a good charcoal mask. Um, I definitely felt it pulling all of the impurities out of my skin. Like I said, the packaging is a little bit less to be desired because once you open it, you know, that's pretty much it. You have to use it. So I would much prefer if they had it in like a some sort of container where you can get more product and it's easily to apply than just like a little package like this. I mean, they may. I have no idea. This is all I've seen at Ulta and I did get mine from Ulta. And um, yeah, but um, I do like this uh, charcoal mask. I feel that it does do what it says, that it does pull the impurities out and it cleans out your pores and everything like that. And as far as acne, I mean, I have a little bit of acne, but you know, that's just stress related. So I can't really tell you if it does work for acne or not, but um I don't think it was that much at Ulta, maybe like $2 or something like that. So definitely give this a try if you haven't. Um, and it is cruelty free. And they do have a website. I will put their website down below. So thank you so much for watching this short little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free it doesn't cost you anything and thank you so much for watching if you are a new subscriber it means so much to me share with all your family and your friends if you want to no pressure we don't do peer pressure here I hope you have a wonderful New Year's and I hope 2017 is a even better year than 2016 hopefully we don't lose so many fabulous entertainers and singers and everything in 2017. 2016 was such a brutal year. I personally am still grieving over Alan Rickman, but that's a whole nother video. So I hope you have a wonderful night. Be safe, and I will see y'all in 2017. Bye!